For more on this, I'm joined by the Democratic Congresswoman Gwen Moore of Wisconsin, a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Congresswoman Moore, thank you for being with us, as you always are. I, I really always appreciate the time, and at this point of year, I just want to thank you for uh, always doing that. I don't know... I'm not surprised at all, like zero, about the fact that Donald Trump was lying about his audit. Interesting to know that it wasn't true. We are a little surprised by the fact that the IRS was supposed to audit him and didn't, and the timing of the audit in 2019 now seems highly suspicious. Good morning, uh, Allie. So good to be with you. Thank you. I was really, um, I was really nervous when I heard you announced earlier in the program that we were going to talk about the surprises that we have found uh, regarding uh, Trump's taxes. I, mean, I don't think we have that many surprises right. to report here. <laughs> so I hope you're not depending on me to come up with any surprises. I mean, what no, we mostly found, the IRS. I, the, the IRS I, stuff was was really, to me, the biggest surprise, right? Like, why why do we think the IRS didn't conduct the audits that it was supposed to? Well, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to um, assume that there were any nefarious uh, purposes or nefarious activity, um, but there, there are some flaws that uh, that the Joint uh, Tax Committee found, and you know, uh, Chairman Neal's uh, agents found. I mean, for one thing, um, there is only there was only one uh, person assigned uh, to to do this audit work. The expertise for doing the audit report was not there. Donald Trump was right. He has very complicated taxes. I mean, four or 500 uh, companies. Uh, we only asked for uh, eight of the Donald John Trump companies, and he, they, he only provided us with six tax returns of the eight we asked for, but there are hundreds of entities. Um, and so his his taxes were so complex that it was really puzzling to the Joint Committee on Taxation that the IRS just relied on Donald Trump's words and 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 didn't uh, didn't audit it. So the monies that we've asked for um, to um, to buoy the staff uh, and the personnel at the IRS. We need it exactly for the purposes of looking at complicated tax returns like these. And, and you know, there were lots and lots and lots of what they call LUQs, large, uh, 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 un, uh, unusual questionables. You right. know, like, for example, uh, the charitable tax uh, deductions that he took, like the net operating losses and carryovers, uh, like the cost of uh, of stuff that they supposedly sold. I guess this would be like the Trump wine or steaks or, or whatever. Nobody knows what he sold. Right. Um, the, right, right. These um, unreimbursed partnerships. And so these, you know, such that, you know, Donald Trump a couple of years got 750 uh, dollar uh, paid seven hundred and fifty dollars in taxes. Some years, no taxes at all because of all these losses that they claim. And so this, this, you know, no matter who you were, this would trigger an audit. But those years that he was president of the United States, our uh, Ali, were years where there was a rule, as you pointed out, with the IRS that there be mandatory audits. And why? Because he's not the, the the average taxpayer. He is the president of the United States. And we don't want any more King Georges. Um, I mean, he has uh, the authority and the ability to sign bills, uh, like this $1.7 trillion appropriation bill we just put out with huge military uh, expenditures uh, in it. And we, the public has demanded throughout history to know what the commander in chief's interests are. Uh -huh. uh, and, 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 you know, I'd be prepared to discuss that if you want to, but I mean, this notion that every president and vice president since Nixon has done it, let me tell you, Allie, it was like pulling teeth. Yeah. I mean, both the Bushes, the Nixons, Ford, Geraldine Ferraro's husband, um, 
it, you know, Teresa Hines uh, didn't want to uh, provide uh, tax returns, but the public demanded it. Yep. And, um, yep. And well, so you, the fact that the IRS didn't audit is, is a puzzler. So I, I guess, is, that a, is this a Donald Trump problem? Is this a tax policy problem? Or is this an IRS problem? You know, th it's it's all of the above. But specifically, it's it's we need to... Uh, the IRS rule is not in statute. And mm. so one of the purposes of doing this audit was to determine whether or not we need to make this a statutory mandate. Um, we also need to finance the ability to, for them to, to, do, to it. do this. Right. If you've got a complicated exactly person running for right. president, you need the staff at the IRS to be able to, to go through that stuff. Exactly. I mean, all of us basically work on a job. We get paid. You know, the, it's very transparent what's on our 1040. But with a complicated tax return and being the president of the United States, these mandatory uh, taxes. So, you know, I'm I'm careful not to, quote unquote, blame the IRS. Yeah, no, I understand. They absolutely had no ability to uh, to do this. I personally have not seen the actual tax returns. Um, because they're being redacted for uh, personal information, social security numbers, uh, those kinds of things. But I can see from the chairman's report here um, and the findings of the Joint um, uh, Committee on Taxation that there were lots of large, unusual questionables um, uh, that, that needed to be uh, examined. Let me ask you this, though. This is a sort of a repeat of Bill Barr wrote something about Donald Trump, and then Bill Barr became attorney general. In, in 2018, uh, Charles Reddick had written a, an article in Forbes defending Donald Trump's refusal to uh, release his tax returns while he was a candidate. And guess what? The guy becomes the uh, commissioner of the IRS. Is that a problem you're looking into? I don't know that that's the subject of this inquiry. And, you know, the 118th Congress will not be controlled by Democrats. Right. And I, I am not sure that we are, that, that the Democrats are were prepared to indict the commissioner of in, insurance. As a matter of fact, uh, he has some very staunch uh, supporters. I just want to point out that all of our speculation about whether or not Donald Trump deserved these deductions uh, whether or not they're appropriate, there there is no conclusion right. that they were that they were wrong. It's right. just that they we just haven't didn't, we just been didn't audited. Have we didn't have a look. We, we didn't. Have, we, we weren't we, able right. to see it. Right. I, I, I hear right, your point. Right, it's a right. valid point. We could have had that discussion if we got this stuff when we were supposed to get this stuff. But and and people would have had a chance and, to evaluate and that and vote audited. on it. Yeah, uh, Congresswoman, great to see you as always. Thank you for being with us and have yourself an excellent Christmas. Oh, I will. I'm home snug. It's below zero. It's cold. Yeah. And uh, I've got blankets up to the window and we're doing great. But you Wisconsinites know how to handle that stuff. Democratic Representative Gwen Moore of Wisconsin.